Hello my lovely friends, welcome back and if you are new to our channel, thank you for stopping by. Today's video is a very very interesting one and so this is the sunflower granny square or the sunflower motif that we are going to make. We must make four such squares. So I am ready here with my hook and uh, a brown colored yarn and I have chained four. After that we are going to slip stitch into the very first chain. Now the hook size is 2.5. After that I am going to chain three which will be counted as one double crochet. Now if you are comfortable with the magic ring you can do that too. And then I am going to pass my hook through the small ring that is created with the four chains and work 11 number of double crochet into the ring. That means 11 double crochet into the ring plus the first chain of 3 is going to make 12 double crochet. That is the thing that we must uh, work in this very first round. This we are making the center of the sunflower so my 12 double crochets are done so i slip stitch into the very uh, first chain of three the topmost chain and then i am going to chain three again this is the starting of the second round and into the very same chain space i make another double crochet and now i move on to the next chain space where i am going to work two number of double crochet that means in each of the chain spaces we are going to work two double crochets so we are going to have 24 double crochets at the end of this particular round so i've put the uh, pink color cloth so that it becomes easy for you all to uh, locate the points where i am passing my hook through so my 24 double crochets are done now I have reached the starting point. Again, I slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three. Then I chain one and I snip off the yarn. Now moving on to the third round, we are going to work the petals. So I have taken the orange or the yellowish orange yarn. You can start off at any point at any of the chains, introducing my new yarn. Now I am going to chain two. And we all know chain 2 counts as half double crochet. After that into the same chain space I work 1 double crochet. Now I am going to work a triple crochet. See that is twice we have to wind the yarn around the hook. Now I am working my first triple crochet. Now again the second triple crochet in the same chain space we are working a petal now that's done now i am going to work a pico for that we need to chain three and i'll come back to the base again and slip stitch this is how a tiny pico a neat pico is formed after that i work a triple crochet again into the same chain space then i work a double crochet And finally, I will be working one half double crochet. Now, half double crochet is equivalent to two chain which we had done in the beginning. So, our first petal is done. After that, I slip stitch into the next chain space and then again into the adjacent chain space. And here I am going to work my second petal. So, chain two again, which will be counted as half double crochet after that I do one double crochet then a triple crochet yes another triple crochet then the pico for which we need to chain three and come back to the base and do a slip stitch Now 
I'm going to work a triple crochet again into the same space. Now a double crochet again into the same space. And finally one half double crochet. So our second petal too is ready. Now I slip stitch into the next chain space and then into the next where I am going to start my third petal. So this is how we need to work all around. Again I am doing my chain 2 then I am going to work one double crochet then a triple crochet. Another triple crochet in the same space, then a pico that is a chain 3 and a slip stitch at the base. Please watch carefully where the hook is passing through. After that again a triple crochet followed by a double crochet. And then one half double crochet which is equivalent to two chains that we did initially after that a slip stitch into the next chain space and again a slip stitch into the next and then chain two from where our next petal is going to start so we are going to work all around till we have 12 number of petals last petal is done I slip stitch into the adjacent chain space after that I chain 4 the reason for chaining 4 is we need to make loops after chaining 4 I am going to slip stitch into the chain one chain space that we have between the petals now again chain 4 and again a slip stitch into the chain space between the two petals actually if you pull the petals a little bit we can identify the chain space that is available if your work is towards the loose side you will easily be able to find the chain otherwise you have to struggle like me if your work is a bit tight anyway now again chain four and again a slip stitch into the chain space between the two petals so that is the uh, sequence that we need to follow all, all around and at the end of the round we we are going to have 12 number of such loops the final chain four is done now I'm showing you where we need to slip stitch so into the very first uh, loop I have slip stitched What I'm going to do is I am going to push the loop at the back side and pull the petals forward. Now I do a chain one. After that I did chain two again. And then two number of double crochet we are working our petal, the first petal. After that a triple crochet. It is same as the first just that the number of stitches going to increase this is a second triple crochet and this is a third triple crochet after that I chain three so that we can work the pico and again I come back to the base and do a slip stitch so our first pico for the second round is done and then again I start working my triple crochet as the first one this is the second triple crochet after that I am going to work two number of double crochet and finally one half double crochet so our petal very first petal is done 
since the number of stitches were more see our petal also has become a little bigger in size this is how our second layer of petal is looking right now now let's jump into the next loop and do a chain of two after that I am going to work two number of double crochet as the first one this is the second one and I'm starting to work my triple crochets this is my first triple crochet followed by the second triple crochet and the third after the third triple crochet is done I am going to chain three and work a small pico then again two number of triple crochet is to be done into the same space this is the second triple crochet after that I'm going to work two number of double crochet followed by one half double crochet So our petal is ready now I moved on to the next loop and there I am going to start my next petal so finally I am done with my 12 petals and I slip stitch into the very first loop and chain one and then snip off the yarn so the petals of a sunflower is ready now let's move on to making of the leaves I've taken a green yarn now we can start off from any of the points between the second layer of petals now I am going to slip stitch yes I have attached <coughs> sorry my green yarn and now I am going to chain three four and five yes now similarly we are going to work five loops and a slip stitch in between the petals like how we had done or worked the loops in the previous round for making the second set of petals now again chain 5 there we had done chain 4 here we are doing chain 5 chain 5 we are going to pull the petals slightly and we will be able to identify the chain where we need to do a slip stitch so this is the process that is to be followed in this particular round all around till we have 12 number of such loops so the final loop is being done chain 5 is done now what I'm going to do is I am going to slip stitch into the very same chain space where we had started so 12 loops are done now I am going to do a slip stitch or chain 1 into the first loop after that I am going to work a single crochet now I am going to chain four again a single crochet and chain four and move on to the next loop and work a single crochet now again chain four move on to the next loop it's better actually if you push the uh, pull the petals forward it becomes easier to work now what I'm going to do is I am going to work a single crochet again now let's just push the petals after that I chain four again and move on to the next loop and here I'll be working my first set of leaves I have worked a double crochet that is half done this is my second double crochet which two is half done this is the third double crochet which is half done this is the fourth one and finally working the fifth double crochet which is half done once we have six stitches on the hook yarn over pull through so our first petal is done after that I chain four and here I am going to do five number of triple crochets which two will be half done this is my first triple crochet half done this is my second 
followed by the third one and again this is the fourth one and the fifth triple crochet once we have six stitches on the hook yarn over and pull through simple now again chain four and i will be working my double crochets five set of double crochets that two will be half done that's first this is the second one the third one as the fourth and the fifth now if you count the stitches we have six stitches now yarn over pull through all so my very first corner with the set of leaves are done I chain four and moving on to the next loop where I am going to work a single crochet again I am going to chain four one two three and four and move on to the next loop and do a single crochet again chain four moving on to the next loop and here I will be working the second corner with the leaves so I am working my double crochets five number of double crochets half done double crochets now I have six stitches on my hook so I'm going to do a yarn over and pull through now I am going to chain four and I will be working my triple crochets five number of triple crochets half done triple crochets in the same loop that's the second one the third that's the fourth one and the fifth one now what I do is yarn over pull through now again I chain four and I will be working my five half done double crochets this is the second corner that is in making it is a beautiful uh, project you all should try this I have six stitches so yarn over pull through after that I'm going to chain four and move on to the next loop to do a single crochet so this is the sequence that is to be followed all around three corners are already done I have worked my fourth corner as well now I am going to, I have already chained four now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first uh, single crochet position that we had done in the beginning of this particular round after that I snip off the yarn now let's tuck the loose ends now I'm going to show you how we need to work that white portion in our granny square so I've taken a white yarn which is actually off white and now we need to slip stitch into the uh, middle of the triple crochets bunch of triple crochets that we had worked and I am going to chain you can do chain two or chain one after that I am going to work two number of double crochets in the same space this is the topmost area so two double crochets are done I chain two and again I am going to work two number of double crochets in the same chain space that's the first one and this is the second one so my first corner is done after that it is very simple we just need to work double crochets four number of double crochets in the loops or in the chain loops that uh, are there so this is the fourth double crochet in the first chain loop now moving on to the next loop here I am working my four number of double crochets again very simple 
so four number of double crochets are done now moving on to the next loop similarly we are going to do the same till we reach the corner so my final double crochets for this particular row is being done after that is done I am going to move to the tip of the triple crochets where I am going to work two double crochets then I'm going to chain two and work two number of double crochets again in the same chain space So our second corner is done after that again I will move on to the chain loops and work four double crochet in each till I reach the third corner again similarly we need to work in the same fashion and when we reach the third uh, triple crochet point there we are going to work the corner again it's a very simple simple uh, round see already two of our corners are done now that's the third corner space and that is the fourth so here I have completed working all around and I have reached the starting point and here I am working my double crochets in the loop Now moving on to the last loop where I am going to work the double crochet, four number of double crochet for this particular round. This is the third one and the fourth one. After that I am going to slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet, not the chain of two. After that I am going to chain 3 and work a double crochet in the chain space next to it and then hop into the corner where I am going to work. That's my first double crochet. This is my second. After that I chain 2 and again I am going to work 2 number of double crochet. That's the first one. This is the second one. and. From here it is very simple we are just going to work double crochets on top of the existing double crochets of the previous round till we reach the second corner so that's the first corner and similarly we just need to work all around I'm working my double crochets on top of the existing double crochets. Now I have reached almost reached the second corner. I am working double crochets on top of the existing double crochets. After that, I am going to jump into the chain two space and work two number of double crochet that's done now chain two and again two number of double crochet in the same space so the corner a neat corner is formed after that i'm going to continue with double crochets till i reach the other corner very simple uh, step so the two corners are done now I have completed working all around I am almost at the end working my last double crochets after that I am going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three slip stitch stitch sorry chain one and I snip off the yarn now this is how it is looking 
we are going to make four such granny squares this is for the front portion of the bag and you can also use this granny square for your other projects as well for working the back side of the bag I'm not going to make those uh, sunflower motifs I am just going to make a simple granny square for which I have taken my off-white yarn and I have done a uh, magic ring and chained three very simple after that I chain sorry I do a double crochet first double crochet followed by the second double crochet after that I chain three and work again three number of double crochets in the magic ring as the first one this is the second one and the third one after that chain three again and I work my third set of double crochets as the first this is the second and this is the third now moving ahead again I chain three and I will be working my final set of three double crochets as the first one as the second and the third after that I am going to chain three and slip stitch into the very first chain of three the topmost chain once that is done I am going to tighten the magic ring by pulling the tail and now I am going to skip two chain spaces see how it is done that's the first the second this is being done so that I can reach my first corner so I have reached my first corner and here I am going to chain three and then I am going to work two number of double crushes so two number of double crushes plus the first chain of three after that I chain three and I will be working three number of double crushes in the corner again so that's the first corner which is being formed first corner is ready after that I chain one and jump to the next corner where I am going to work three number of double crushes after that again I chain three and work a set of three double crushes it is a very very easy uh, process of making this particular pattern so this is how it's going to look as the second corner the third and the fourth needs to be done after the corner is done I am going to chain one that is going to be on top of the previous set of three double crochets and then I'm going to work in the corner three double crochets plus chain of three and again three number of double crushes as the first this is the second and this is the third double crochet now similarly chain one and move on to the last corner where I am going to work three double crushes chain three and again three double crushes very simple very easy once that is done please watch this step carefully I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three yes after that again I'm going to skip stitches so that I reach the corner point from where I can start the third round to start the third round again we need to chain three the process is same chain three is counted as one double crochets then I work two number of double crochets then I do a chain of three and work three number of double crochets again 
so this is the first corner of the third round then I chain one and move on to the chain one space where I am going to work three number of double crushes that's the second and this is the third one after that again I chain one and hop into the corner where I am going to work a set of three double crushes then chain three and again three double crushes so this is the process that is to be repeated then again chain one and move on to the chain one space of the previous round and work three double crushes so we need to work all around in this sequence finally again when we reach the starting point we need to chain one and slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of Then this step is also crucial, we need to skip stitches till we reach the corner. The main reason is to reach the point where we are going to start the next round. Chain 3 and working 2 number of double crushes again. Then again chain 3 and working 3 number of double crushes. So the corner is done, I chain 1 and again hop into the chain 1 space and work 3 number of double crushes, that's the second and the third. Then again chain 1 and working my 3 number of double crushes. So this is how it is looking. Leaving the center point we need to work 6 such uh, rounds. Then it is going to uh, match the sunflower granny squares in size. Because this uh, granny square, this simple one we are going to use for the back side of the bag. And this too we need to work 4 in number. And the best part about this cranny square is that you can use it for any other project as well. Like if you, uh, if you wish to make a cushion cover, if you wish to make some bag, etc. So this is how it is looking. We need to work six rounds. And this round is coming to an end. I chained one and doing a slip stitch on the topmost chain space. And here I'm skipping the chain spaces so that I can reach the corner and start off with a new round. Chain 3, then working 2 double crochets, then again chain 3, which makes a corner, and again 3 number of double crochet. So our second corner is done. Chain 1, hopping into the next chain 1 space to work our 3 double crochets. So we need to make 6 such rounds one two three four is done two more is to be done we need to make four such granny squares now i've reached the final point chain one and a slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three 
after that I chain one to secure my work and snip off the yarn so this is how my granny squares are looking we need four such pieces and now keeping the right side facing towards each other or the wrong side facing outwards we just need to sew up the pieces the four pieces for the back side and similarly we have to stitch the granny squares the sunflower granny squares the beautiful ones together keeping the uh, right sides facing each other all four are to be stitched this is the back portion of the bag and this is the front portion of the bag both look equally good now this is I have taken 12 number of uh, chains and I have worked simple double crochets which needs to be sewed on the sides of the bag side as well as the base that is on the three sides of the bag here I have just taken 12 number of chains and I have worked double crochets I didn't show this because the video is getting too too long for me to handle and this we are going to measure our bag the side of the bag and we are going to work accordingly actually the video was getting too long I had to delete most of the parts and I thought this everyone will be able to do that's why I'm not sure oh one thing I would like to tell here is in the beginning I am doing a chain of two not a chain of three because chain of three makes the sides too lengthy sort of it stretches that's why I did a chain of two and then worked my regular double crochets when we are sure that the a size is suitable enough we are now going to sew both the sides to it one at a time so sewing has to be done with the tapestry needle now I have reached the desired size of the uh, what should I say a ribbon I don't know what to say or the strip now I'm just uh, stitching it to the side of the uh, back uh, back face of the bag then gradually I am going to sew it to the front face of the bag as well that will give a little more sturdiness to the bag as well as a little more space to the bag that we are making see the front portion I am attaching I am sewing it it's very simple just using the tapestry needle to sew it once the sewing is done I'll show you what next to be done so this is how our bag is looking on the front side this is the back portion of the bag the sides are, are nicely sewed up now let's make a border on the top side which is uh, still raw we have not given any finishing to it so I am attaching my yarn with a slip knot and I chained three now this part is also very simple we are just going to make double crochet in each of the chain spaces all around that too I am going to do two rows of double crochet this is the first row this is the point where we are I am beginning it's better to start from uh, the portion where we have the double crushes where we have worked 12 number of double crushes it's better we start from there it will give a little bit of sturdiness to the bag as well we will not crochet it very loose we are working double crushes all around when working on the back side of the bag we are going to make double crochet on each of the chain spaces here and even on the chain one space that is available or that is there 
in between the uh, three into in between the set of three double crochets uh, see I've reached the starting point and finally what I'm going to do is I am going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three then again I chained three and that has been counted as one double crochet after that I am going to work all around I'm going to work the double crochets all around in a similar fashion that I have done till we reach the starting point again so I have nearly finished my second round I am at the starting point now again I am going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three so my two rounds of double crochet are done once that is done i am going to do a single crochet all around just one round of single crochet in each of the chain spaces that is available that will give a nice finish to our bag and this bag is going to be a wonderful bag so you should try to make this bag see i'm working single crochet all around the bag if you wish to you can work single crochets in place of the double crochets that I did. Just uh, two rows double crochets I had worked. There also if you wish to you can work single crochet. It is up to you how you want your bag to look. So I am done with my single crochets. I have reached the finishing point and I have slip stitched. After that I chain one and I am going to snip off the yarn. Chaining one is very essential. To secure the work so that is done now let's start off with a handle for the bag for this I have taken 10 stitches or yes 10 chains and I have worked single crochet this also I had to remove it because my video was getting too too long and the length you can keep your desired length this I am doing a single crochet because handles of the bag have a tendency to strain uh, to lengthen so making a, a handle which has single crochet in it will prevent the handle from stretching and after the length is reached we just need to secure the handle properly to the bag inner side the inner side I have placed my handle and I am stitching it with the or sewing it with the same colored yarn very simple now about the handle I have taken 10 number of chains and I have worked single crochet to make my work tight so that the handles don't stretch when we put our little things into the bag or when we are using our bag so the handles are both attached this is how our cute little bag is looking something still needs to be done that is now I'll be attaching a loop in the middle of the bag and I will be fixing a cute little button you can experiment with that you can use different buttons you can use wooden buttons that will also look equally good well I didn't have any <coughs> sorry wooden buttons at home so I'm, I'm using a plastic one and here at the midpoint on the back side I am attaching my off-white yarn again with a slip stitch chain one slip stitch and then I do a single crochet again to secure it and after that I am going to chain about 24 
now this length also will depend on the size of the button that you are using for your project I have uh, made 24 chains this is how the bag is looking on the front side so my 24 chains are ready now you have to see if that 24 chain is enough uh, for your button after that I skip two chain spaces and I do a Thank you. 